Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are you? And guys, today I'm super excited because I'm checking out Miss Harper Dune from the Pacific Coast doll collection coming out, you know, today. And I want to give a huge shout out to MJ for actually sending me Miss Harper Dune. Look at her, she's a queen. She's serving Nikki realness. She's serving Did I Lie realness. <laughs> Yeah, guys, I'm super excited and I'm so happy that MJ considered sending me her. So thank you guys so much. Harper is available today on January 10th and you can find her at Walmart, Target, Amazon. And guys, I'm just so excited to get her out because she is everything. And she actually has been compared to Marissa right over there. Yep, in the corner. Because they kind of do look similar, like the aesthetic. Let me roll my intro and let's get right into it. Hello? Hit Ariana Grande note. Okay, guys, so here is Miss Harper Dune in the flesh, in the plastic, you know, serving Burberry realness, and we stamp. You guys like how I know she's a Burberry girl? I know, shocker, right? Just like Hallie, she comes in this kind of square box that has play just for her little beach towel, her sunglasses, and her bag. There's no second outfits with these dolls. They are just the dolls and their accessories for the beach. These dolls do retail for $31, by the way, if you're in the States. I'm not sure how much they're gonna be in Canada, in Europe, etc so sorry about that but yeah guys i'm very excited if she's gonna be worth the 31 dollar price point because you know typically beach dolls are like really cheap they're usually considered like a budget line so kind of expected these to be kind of like the cheer budget line you know what i'm saying the one that came out last year but anyways guys let's look at her packaging and then we could talk about that after on the top it says collect the rainbow in a gold metallic flaunting and it says series one harper june right there and in the middle you can actually see me a little bit high <laughs> but you can see harper her herself and she's really cute. On the side it says Rainbow High and on the bottom it says Watch on YouTube. And we have artwork of Margaret, Harper, and Bella herself. And then on this side we have the Pacific Coast logo and we have our accessories for the pool and the beach. All that jazz. We'll look at those right after. On this side we have a cute little gold palm tree. As I mentioned in all my reviews I love how Rainbow High specializes like all the boxes. For winter break we had frosting. For summer party we had like little stars and the rockers had music notes. It's super Cute. And on the side, the palm trees continue with two seagulls. They're flying. And if we turn it to the side, we can see Harper is a performance focus. So your girl's a theater kid. We stand that, right? I mean, I took two theater classes when I was in college. Was I good at it? No, I passed. That's all that matters. If we turn it to the back, there's Rainbow High Pacific Coast in that gold embossed little flaunting. And then we have a beautiful portrait of all seven dolls in this collection. Yes, there's seven dolls in this collection. This is probably the biggest collection the Rainbow Highs put out to date. So we have Finn, Harper, Ali, Limon, Bella, Margaret, and Fiedra. So excited to get them all and the pool and then, you know, just put them all together and have a good time. And on the bottom, it says, meet the students of Pacific Coast High, the most elite fine arts high school on the West Coast. Here the days are sunny, the classes are poolside, and the drama rolls in like the tide. So at Pacific Coast, I know that they have like their own little reality TV show. So I'm excited to see what they're gonna do with this line. I'm not sure if this is like a spinoff, you know, if it's gonna have its own web show. We don't know anything really about this yet. Bella, I don't know why she's there. So I'm not sure if she's transferred or or this is like a flashback sequence to where she was when she got kicked out of Rainbow High. And let me know who's your favorite so far from their artwork. And of course, you could see reviews on all of them once I get them. I will not be skipping any dolls this time. Trust me on that. And if you're looking for Margaret, by the way, here is her barcode. Go ahead and take a nice screenshot. You get my little fingers in it. You could, let me just pose them a little bit. Yeah. Anyways, guys, let me unbox the queen and we shall see if she's worth $31. I am very excited. Um, so, BRB. And guys, she is out of her box and look at that hair. It's crunchalicious. But guys, we'll talk about her after. I first want to go over everything that she comes with and then we'll move on to the piece de resistance. She comes with a bag of stuff. She first comes with a clear gold stand. It's actually really cool. I think this is like the first clear stand I've ever seen from Rainbow High. It's got such little pigment in it and it's actually really nice. So perp. She comes with a second pair of legs. We'll talk about this after. This is this is very interesting. She comes with a rainbow comb. It's in the same color as her stand. She comes with a bag, some sunglasses, and a 
towel. Okay guys, now that Harper is pretty much all of the box and I've showed you what she comes of, let's look at her face and move all the way down to her toes. So right off the bat, a lot of people have been saying that her hair looks like ramen noodles and um, kind of. Her hair is actually really crunchy, individual little strand. It does have product in it. It's very much giving me throwbacks to Cheers Sunny. Her hair is this very interesting dirty blonde, kind of golden blonde color. It's very much going with the theme of sand, which is her color for the rainbow. It's very much giving me beachy waves, but also kind of crimpy. Very interesting. I am definitely going to be washing this hair out and probably like just, you know, braiding it to get it to this effect without the product. We'll see. Another thing about this doll is she is surfing that iconic Nicki Minaj moment when she was, you know, talking about her Queen album. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. So to start off, she has this really nice fabric hat on. It's very much inspired by Burberry. It has a logo in the middle that is a Pegasus that is embroidered and it says rainbow and black and white. It's really nice. The color is this kind of beigey sand color. It has some printing all around it and it has a rainbow stripe down the middle because it's rainbow high, obviously. It even has that little button that all hats have and it says RH and gold. And in the back, it has some Velcro right here so you could adjust it for other dolls to wear it and style it differently. I actually did not know she had that, so that's really cool. I am probably gonna take this hat off so I can show you what she looks like, you know, with her hair and what kind of parting she has. So let me do that real quick. So here's what Harper looks like without her hat. You could really see the highlights in her hair. And she also has a middle part. I don't know, I definitely might just wash it out and see how it like reacts in the water and see if it's like a pretty wave. I am really hoping is that second option because I might not even, you know, redo it. We'll see, we'll see. And here's that hat close up without a doll. I actually wanna see what it looks like backwards on her. You know what, I kind of like it this way. Um, So for Harper, her skin complexion really reminds me of Sunny. It's a really pretty brown dark eyebrows and they actually kind of have an ombre at the front. It's really pretty actually. I like it. Doll does not have any shimmer on her face. Um, if she has any kind of lighting, it's because I have two big studio lights over her right now. As for her makeup, she has this really cool kind of ombre, but it's from yellow to brown and there's some blue in the middle right there. She has some gold glitter on the outer edge of that. She has these really pretty brown eyes and I really like them. Again, happy to see more Rainbow High characters with brown eyes. Blue eyes are kind of getting boring to me. <laughs> she has an interesting brown lipstick on and it's lined with kind of a reddish brown color. I'm not sure if I feel the lipstick. I feel like she might have done better with a different shade, but you know, oh well. She does have earring holes, but she has no earring. So as we move down to her outfit, she's keeping with that kind of Burberry kind of plaid look that she has going on. So she has a little, kind of reminds me of a sports bra kind of bikini kind of top. It is a sand color that has black, white, and gray lines. There's also some yellow and the rainbow striping on that side. It has a white band right here that says rainbow in black all the way around. Now one thing a lot of people have been very curious about these dolls online is why are they repping rainbow high when they're going to Pacific Coast High, which is a completely different school and it's more elite than rainbow high. I don't understand. <laughs> it velcros in the back, by the way. And if we move down. She's wearing some beige kind of creamy color corduroy shorts. They're actually really nice and there are some real pocket details that actually work. She has some belt loops. She has these little gold buttons and there's some stitching work to let you know there's a crotch area and you know the other areas. And then here we go again with the Rainbow High logo. <laughs> it's a gold metallic little charm that's on one of her little belt loops. Again I really wish I just said PC instead of RH so and it looks like you can see where the pockets would end under her shorts and they do come off with a strip of velcro. And Harper seems to have the original face sculpt because her head says 2019. Let me take off her shorts real quickly so we can see what her bikini bottom looks like. It's very much matching her top so it has a white band that says rainbow and black and it has that add color all over again. It's very much matching. It's made of that same material that's kind of stretchy and I feel like this would be really safe for the pool. So if you do plan on playing with these dolls in the pool, I do not recommend. To be Gucci, um, unless you're playing in the rainbow high pool that's coming out, don't put her in chlorine. And these actually just slide off because they're stretchy and have an elastic band band right here so there's no velcro and if we move down to her feet she has flat feet on at the moment she's wearing these little black sandals that have strapping that are in a gold sandish color they actually do lace up on the side I don't want to take them off to be honest because that looks really nicely done but there's some little gold beads as well a little plastic bit right there that's in a kind of a yellow sand color that's holding it on her ankle at the moment it's actually really cute and I believe in the sole it says rainbow I mean what else would it say but yeah 
yeah, they're really cute. And in the instructions, it will actually tell you how to tie these just in case you have never tied something in your life. You love a good learning moment. Okay guys, now that we pretty much looked at the doll in her entirety, let's look at her accessories in a little full. And then I'm gonna show you how this leg gimmick works as her hat falls over her head. Love that. So one of her first accessories is this beach towel. It's actually made of what a beach towel material would feel like. It's that soft kind of towel material. And right now it's kind of pinned together. Let me just take those pins out real quick. So once you unfold it fully, you can see that the edges are hemmed with some black string and the print on the towel is the same of her bathing suit. It's that plaid kind of Burberry tees, but it says Rainbow High all over it because she obviously goes to Rainbow High and not Pacific Coast High. We all know this. Come on now. It's such a cute towel though. Like I feel like if you wanted to, you could use this towel or when you wash your doll's hair, this would be super cute. And I love how all these ties keep falling out of it. Love that. Now at first glance, I thought this was a plastic bag, but it's actually made of material. It's made of a fake leather and it has that Burberry plaid kind of print all over it again. Black and white stripes, rainbow right there. It has an embroidery pegasi and a rainbow logo right there. There's nothing on the back but it does have this cute metallic gold lining also. It has these plastic straps up here so the doll can't actually hold it and you actually could put something in here. It's pretty deep and if we eventually get cell phones for these dolls, which I'm surprised we haven't gotten those yet because you know social media is a big part of you know a teenager's life. But yeah the bag is actually really Really well made and I'm excited to see more bags being introduced in the Rainbow High line. This might be one of the reasons why these dolls might be a little more money along with the beach towel because they are actually made of like a really good material but, you know and there's also that shipping issue that's happening right now so. Then we get her glasses which are also plaid and she really knew the Burberry assignment and she you know came through for it. It's the same plaid all around. There is a little film right there and you can actually see my finger through it and it's painted throughout even on the glasses stems like wow period <laughs> and now guys we're gonna move on to the elephant in the room but why does she come with legs so as you guys can see she is wearing sandals and she has flat feet you cannot wear sandals in a high heel the purpose of the spare legs in the bag is that you can actually pop them off at the joint right here i'm gonna try to do it on camera before i knock everything off my table but the leg does pop off so you could put on normal rainbow high shoes that have come out with the past, you know, almost 50 dolls. And I'm not sure if they're gonna continue this, but each leg has a, a letter on it to let you know it's the right or the left. This is the right, of course. So you just pop it on in. And just like that, your doll can go from flat to heeled feet. I don't think these are gonna be lost too easily. They are pretty stuck in there. Now with some play, they might actually come out. Now also noticing this, I've noticed she has a little slit in her thigh. We don't stand that, we, we don't. Bummer. Yeah guys, let me get her foot back on and we will close out this review on Miss Harper Dune. Okay guys, I accessorized her because why not? Now we see what the sunglasses look like on her. I actually put her hat like that. I think it looks a lot cuter. Let me know in the comments if you agree or just no hat in general. And the dolls can really hold their towel nicely. All you have to do is roll it up. But yeah guys, Harper is actually a really nice doll. I do think that she has too much of a Burberry trend going on with her and the shorts are kind of the only piece on her that kind of stray away from that theme. So like I would have preferred maybe her bag or her sunglasses or maybe even her hat to not be the same print as her bathing suit. She's a brand queen and she's repping her brand so we got to support her for that, right? She's got a lot of money but you know support her. One other thing to point out about her is her hair. You're definitely going to need to wash this. I am probably going to do a hair tutorial on her and another doll together because the Pacific Coast dolls have really easy hairstyles so there's not much to do with them unless you're going to be styling them. But yeah guys let me know in the comments what are your thoughts on Ms. Harper Dune and have you found any of the Pacific Coast dolls yet. I'm very curious as to who you found. And guys, let me know in the comments what you think about Harper. Do you like her? And what is your ranking so far for the Pacific Coast dolls? There's seven of them, so you have a lot to rank. Even if you're not buying up, I love to hear what you guys are going to be ranking. So let me know in the comments. I want to give a big shout out once again to MGA for noticing me and sending me Harper Dune. It means a lot. And if, if it wasn't for you guys, I probably wouldn't be where I'm at. So I also have to thank you guys for, you know, giving me the platform that I have. Even have companies reach out to me. It's been a wild year and guys, I'm very grateful. Like, you know, on New Year's I had a little crying session about it, but yeah, I want to just thank you guys as well because again, without your support, I wouldn't be where I'm at. So thank you. But yeah, guys, that is the end of the review. I feel like I'm going to give her a seven out of 10 because of, you know, the excessive Burberry. But other than that, she's really cute. And I feel like once I wash her hair, I'm going to love her a lot more. I'm very excited to get the pool because I really want to see how the dolls look in it. And she's probably going to be in the pool. So 
period. <laughs> but yeah, guys, if you are new to the channel, hi, my name is Jay and I do doll stuff. Duh. And if you are not following me on Instagram or TikTok, my username is at zombiexcorn, just like on YouTube. And yeah, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.